Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here, and today we are going to do an all signs reading. Um, Aries through Pisces, a quick collective at the end. Don't y'all see my lights up there? Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so, all signs reading, collective at the end. And what we're talking about is doing um, the tarot with a little shadow work. What's in the shadows? What do you need to work on? Speaking of which, if you have not checked out When Spirit Speaks podcast, I invite you to do so. One of yesterday. Who was that from? It is from Sacred. How are you? Thank you. Um... We're doing a body, mind, and soul here for the month of November. A lot going on, you know, grounding, centering. Y'all hear this from me all the time. So I've given you the challenge of the physical body. So if you've not checked out that podcast and you want to be a different person by the first part of December or let's say Christmas, join me in that challenge and you will find that podcast on my website at JackieTomlin.com. Also, Reiki specials, and you will find uh, all sorts of options on readings. I've been around for 18 years, guys, doing this, so let's get into this. We're going to go Aries through Pisces. We're going to start with a quick, just a few tarot cards to see where you're at, and then we'll just see what kind of shadow work you need to work on, okay? A little something different, different today. lady supports Trump. <laughs> I am a Trump supporter. Matter of fact, I am with Trump force. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Just saying. Go Trump. That's right. All righty. Let's see what we have coming up. Hi, Nanya. How are you? That's right. We are making America great again, are we not? Okay. Aries. What's going on for you guys? We have... The Nine of Pentacles. We have the Hangman. Justice. The Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, Aries. Mm, you are doing well financially. You're right where you need to be. You're bored though. I'm seeing a little bit of boredom here. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling stagnant. little boredom there. Justice is coming in to save the day. Restoring your balance. For some of you, this is your financial balance. Okay? Uh, this could be a loan going through, anything like that. But your balance is being restored. Signing of a legal contract. Seven of Pentacles says you're working and gaining and on top of your game. You're also surrounded by healing energy, and this is a physical healing as well as an emotional healing. Some of you, I'm going to be honest with you, some of you are single and it, remaining single by choice. And you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. I am, Nanya. I'm doing really good. All right, let's see what comes up in the shadows for my Aries. In the shadows. There's something here you need to face. You know something's not right. You know the truth. And you know what they say. The truth shall set you free. It's something you need to face. Something you're avoiding. The emotional healing. Because you are crushed about something emotionally. Okay. You've been burned. You've been burned. So it's time to work through that healing energy. And we have, there was a two-faced friend playing with those emotions. Sorry to hear that. And what you had done is you're trying to remove yourself from the toxicity. 
but something here seems to be complicated. Lots of twists and turns. A naughty situation. Precarious. Well, you know, you have control of that situation, but that's what we've got going on for you. That's your shadow work that you're doing. Emotionally burnt. Emotionally spent. Toxicity. Remove yourself from it. No one's going to do it but you. Hello there. Hello. All right. Up next, we have Taurus. Taurus. We are doing each one. You're regularly. And then we get into the shadows. Into the shadows. From a Taurus. Your regular read. What do we have going on for Taurus? Alright, Taurus. You've got the Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Swords. You are longing for financial stability and a happy home. And it looks like a lot of you got that going on. There is a date night coming in. Someone coming in to offer you that cup of love. This is absolutely a date night. You are on doing well for yourself. You're doing really well. Um, good luck and abundance comes from seeing a peacock, peacock feather, or perhaps some cherry blossoms. Someone is coming in to make you an offer of commitment. The wheel of fortune. You know that wheel can turn either way to the good or the bad. The wheel is turning to the good, but there, I'll be honest with you. There's someone here that is either not telling you everything or they're lying straight to you. Good afternoon. So now, Taurus, let's see. What is in the shadows? What's in the shadows for you guys? Okay, let's be warned of dealing with a gold digger. Okay. You guys have got too much on your plate. You feel like you're drowning. That you're barely keeping things together. Someone is coming in. They want your forgiveness. And honestly, forgiving them helps you get past it. Okay? You could be a public image or perhaps they're a public image. And I think you're both worried about what is released to the public. Okay? And I get that. I totally get that. And let's make sure you're not dealing with someone with an addiction and particularly a sex addiction. Okay? And you've got someone that's very demanding on your time. And you know what? You're not putting a stop to it. You're just not putting a stop to it. It says you have control of that situation. And it's going to be up to you to put a stop to it. But that's what i got going on for my Taurus. Alrighty. Hello there. Up next we have Gemini. What's going on for the gems? The good, the bad, and ugly, right? Gemini, you have the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Empress, Ace of Swords, and you have the Five of Cups. Gemini, you're all across the board here. First of all, you are getting ready to reconnect with someone from the past. And this is someone that's going to contact you that you are currently not speaking to or you have not heard from in a hot minute. Okay? They'll be the ones to reach out to you. You have walked away from this person before. Okay? You were the one that walked away from this person. Um, you are viewed as that Empress Energy, the Mother card, the above all else. Someone is placing you. Um, above 
the others, above the kings, above the queens. You got some positive changes coming into the home front. A sign I want to throw out to you is a sign of a rabbit or a red butterfly, and particularly a red butterfly. And we have the Five of Cups. Oh my God. How many times I got declined us? Don't ask again. Um, the Five of Cups that comes in and says, Hey, this is a uh, get out your head. Don't overthink these things. Just roll with it. Southern, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate your gifts. So, now, Gemini, let's get into some shadow work. What's hiding in the shadows? The shadow work. What you need to know. Y'all, I appreciate all your gifts. Thank you so much. For my gems, we have... Okay, see, you've been burned. Afraid to love someone again. Unhealed trauma. This is why you walked away. This is absolutely why you walked away. Brief but sudden ending. Short but sweet. Called it a loss. Done with it. Because of that, you have closed off. You're not emotionally available. Distracted. You're still hurt from the past. Negativity. Like a dark cloud above you, depresses you, extreme moods. This person may be just a negative person. And I mean, there are such things. It's, sometimes you got to walk away from the negative people. There's an age gap between you and this person. And you deem this person to be negative and immature. You, however, need more time to heal from this. You are not ready to take this as a conquest and jump into two feet with this. You may be polite, uh, but you're not going to just commit to pick up where you left off. Nothing wrong with that. And that is for the gems. Okay, up next we have Cancer. Cancer, regular read. And the shadow work. Y'all, I want y'all to do this challenge with me. We are doing body, mind, and soul. Who wants to be a different person this time next month? Check out the podcast. Let's do this. How do you get a reading? You go through my website at JackieTomlin.com. They range from $15 on up. I've been doing this for 18 years and love to hear from you. Okay. Cancer. We have the Five of Swords. The Knight of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. The King of Cups. And the hair front. Okay, something here you're outgrowing. It's time to move on. Time to move on. My five of swords says you're guarded, you're defensive, your cat claws are out. Out, I tell you. It is time for you to move on. Some of you are looking at a residential move, someone moving in, someone moving out. Some of you may be trying to move on from your job, okay? We got the Six of Pentacles that says something is coming to restore your financial balance. Okay, that's a great thing. And then we have the King of Cups. You could be dealing with another cancer. Uh, someone coming in with this offer of love. Someone to assure you things are going to be all right. And cancer, you need to manifest, manifest, manifest. What you want and what you desire. Come at it with the mindset of you have it. You already have it. Okay, because it shows me a very quick turnaround and manifestation. So you know what they say, asking you shall receive. Make sure it's what you want. Cancer, let's get into your shadow work. You got a jumper here. Okay, part of your shadow work is you're feeling alone. 
you feel like you're in this situation all by yourself, you know what? That's not the case and it won't last forever. Tangled web. You're unable to free yourself from a sticky situation. Taking a step back, but you're undecided on what to do. Looking for a clear-cut direction. You're distancing yourself from others because of this. Don't do that. Physically and emotionally, see what you can rekindle. Um, speak to someone. You don't have to be alone. You're dealing with someone that is a show-off. Mm -hmm. Ah. This is not going to work with your energy. It's just not. This is uh, someone's ego. Uh, could be almost like an exhibitionist. And you view them as insincere. That's just not going to mess with your energy. And you also find that this person is also two-faced. Hey, thank you. I missed that. Who was that? <laughs> Halo. Thank you. Two-faced. So that's where your shadow work is, okay? In other words, by your reading, that, that you know change is in there and you know it's coming. But you know what you got to work on in the shadows now. All right. Up next, we have Leo. What's going on for the Leos? Well, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Glad to have you. We have the Ten of Swords from my Leos. Okay. With that, we have the Five of Cups. You've got a lot going on here. The Five of Pentacles. You're definitely on that journey inward. Seven of Cups. Ooh, and there's a Tower moment. Leo, let's talk about it here. You are surrounded by healing energy, both physically and mentally. And part of the mentally is you're dwelling on something. You have superseded getting stuck in your thoughts to absolutely dwelling on something. You need to know you have a financial and spiritual blessing coming. So let go of that, that tense, okay? Um, you also need to realize you've got a lot of options in a lot of different areas, but they have not presented themselves yet. Okay, calm down, breathe, step back away from everything. And you have a tower card moment. Well, Leo, this is your anger, this is your temper. I love them because it creates sudden and complete change. This is your anger, you're going to mouth off, you're going to have your say. Because of that, you're going to see an improvement. Okay, so it's going to come in and it's going to go out as fast as it comes in. So, Leo, let's work on your shadow work. What is in the shadows that you need to work on? For my Leos, what's in the shadows? Tower has to fall sometimes for things to be rebuilt. Sometimes things just have to be said. Okay. Skeletons in the closet. You could be dealing with a sneaky snake. This person may have crushed you before and makes things complicated. And the reason is because they got some roving eyes. Hmm. Someone here not trustworthy. This is probably why you're going off. Skeletons in the closet, roving eyes. Keeping their possibilities open. They're not committing. They crush you in more ways than one, and they've done it before. Sneaky snake going behind your back. Deceitful and a swindler. Complicated. Lots of twists and turns. Naughty situation and precarious. Well, let me tell you something. The hard truth, Leo. The only one making the situation complicated is you. The blame game. So what you going to do about it? All righty. Up next, we got Virgo. 
what's going on with the Virgos? Virgo, Ace of Swords, the Sun, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. And the first message I heard was, you need to pray. Ace of Swords, wanting to communicate with someone that you are currently not speaking to or have not spoken to in a long time, with the sun shining brightly in all that you do. Now, money-wise, got a lot of stress here. There's money in the faraway future in the pipeline. You can see it. You can see that everything is going to be okay. You have a spiritual and financial blessing that you're not believing in. And this is what I'm saying. You need to humble yourself and do some praying. You, however, have options in many areas. Unfortunately, you got such clouded thinking, you're not seeing the options that are available to you. So, Virgo, let's get into your shadow work. You got a jumper here. You need an escape. Love is an emotional escape for you. Be sure you're getting involved for the right reasons. I think there's someone you want to run to. You're scared of rejection. Be warned of someone with a childish or immature behavior. Okay? This person, I mean, you're like at the point to tell them to grow up or get out. Uh, conquest. Okay. Virgo, you may not have been the most faithful here. Okay? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think you've been the most faithful, or maybe somebody wasn't that faithful to, for you, to you. Hi, Elizabeth. But at the same time, this is a two-way street. Cuts both way. Right now, the one you're with, you're very distant from, and everything is up in the air. The only thing that is holding you there, that is keeping you there, is you are scared that someone else is going to reject you. You're scared of rejection. Virgo, you've got some harsh decisions to make for yourself. You need to listen to that podcast and you need to work on that journey inward. I'm doing wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, A. All right. Libra. What's going on for my Libras? Libra. Mm, strength. Five of Wands. Who you got the magician? Alrighty. Queen of Swords. And the tower. Okay. Libra, you got all sorts of energy going on here. Strength on your side to get you through no matter what. What you're getting through, you've got some drama here. And you got a tower. Anger, temper, having your saying. Making someone mad. That's putting it mildly. Okay. Also, we have a Virgo energy here. You may be dealing with someone with a know-it-all attitude. And Trump in your reading is the magician. The highest card in the deck. Your yes answer. Saying you're going to get what you want. Okay? I don't think it's coming in the form you're expecting. But you're going to get what you want. So Libra, let's see what your shadow work looks like. What does your shadow work look like? Libra. 
something here has crushed you and it's been a while back. You're still hurting from it emotionally. Something you're having a hard time moving past. You also feel that you're in a toxic combination. The two of you are toxic together. You're keeping things bottled up. Many unexpressed emotions. Time bomb holding back. There's where that tower is going to explode. That's because you've been burnt. Someone has accused you of being a gold digger. But there's other lovers here. Past cheating, secret affections, possibly still involved with someone. And the person you're dealing with is a fierce temper. This is the shadow work that we got going on for Libra. Alrighty. Up next, we have Scorpio. Scorpio. What do we have for you? We have that King of Pentacles. The King of Cups. The High Priestess. The Queen of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. You got a power couple here. Someone coming in with this undying offer of love and a reminder for you to keep your heart open to give love and receive love. You got a lot of people around you too, Scorpio. Could be dealing with another Scorpio, a Cancer, and or a Gemini may resonate with you. Ultimately, financially, now you're in a good spot and you're working and gaining, maybe putting in some overtime. You may be directing all of your energy into work as a, a sort of escape. Okay, that high priestess says you're grounded, you're centered. You're grounded, you're centered, and you need to trust your intuition. There's something here you're ignoring. It's like something here you know, but you don't want to deal with. All right, Scorpio, let's see. What is your shadow work? What is your shadow work? Devilish intentions. Uh, avoiding temptation. Dealing someone with addiction. Perhaps you have an addiction. You feel that what you have built is crumbling. You have strength to build on you. Avoiding situations. Skeletons in the closet. You're not telling everybody the whole story. It's like a game to you. You're hiding behind a false pretense. And you can expect some mechanical problems as well. You could do some fake flexing here. Some show offs. Okay. So your shadow work is. You're avoiding. You're acting as if everything is okay. But there's something here. You got some deep secrets that you're hiding. And it could be that of addiction. Alrighty. Up next. My fellow Sagittarius. Fellow Sagittarius. What do we have going on? Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, King of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Moon. That may be making you feel a little bit bajiggity, feeling a little scattered. You do have a financial and spiritual blessing, and it does say take the time to count your blessings, okay? 
there is a struggle between a loss of sleep and too much sleep. I'm trying to find the balance on a sleep pattern here. King, excuse me, King of Swords, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with someone that wears a uh, uniform. Someone who had, may get a little stern with you. The color blue or gemstone, maybe lapis. Lapis is a blue gemstone. May resonate with you. Five of Cups says you're overthinking things. Stop overthinking things and just do. And the moon has got you feeling rejiggity. I also want to throw out a cancer energy. A cancer may be reaching out to you. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what your shadow work is. Nice, nice. Y'all looking for personal readings? It's JackieTelman.com. I am taking appointments, so. Shadow work, Sagittarius. <sighs> Someone needs your forgiveness. They hurt you. This person struggles with saying I'm sorry. This person may be stuck in their ego. They have a lot of insecurities. They're scared of rejection from you. Someone wants to commit to you and they're scared to. Uh, someone is closed off. Not emotionally available. Detached, hurt in the past. That's you. That's you. You're closed off. You're closed off. You don't want to deal with any of this ick. Someone could be a public image, whether it's you or them. They're worried about appearances. Um, so, yeah. And someone may accuse you of being a gold digger. And you may feel that somebody has treated everything as a game. But it does cut both ways. So both people are hurting here. And there is distance between both of you. It's coming to a head. Um, now Sagittarius, this has bottled up where you're about to explode. You know, I'm a Sagittarius. That is never pretty. The longer they wait, the worse it's going to be. That's what I got there. All right. Up next, Capricorn. Put you in a third party. That'll do it. That'll do it every time. Capricorn. You have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, the Star, and the Eight of Cups. Uh, Gemini Leo energies are here, as well as the number 20. You're on top of your game financially. Things are going well for you, and you're going to take the time to treat yourself. Some of you are also getting a new animal, a new pet of some sorts. You've got an emperor here. Okay, let me see this. You've got a make-believe emperor. A someone that told you they were this take-charge person. They're going to save the day, and they really didn't. Uh, you've got the star that says, Wish fulfillment has a delay attached to it but right now there's something that you're going to walk away from someone or something and I think this is what you're walking away from all right let's see shadow work shadow work for that Capricorn Someone is very controlling. Needs to be right all the time. Doesn't hear you. You too got that bottled up energy. You're ready to explode. I'll be honest with you. There's like a sexual attraction here. Deep passion is what's keeping you together. Y'all gotta remember that's not everything because it's crumbling. What you build feels like it's falling apart. 
And it says exposed uh, fragile heart to open. In danger of a heartbreak. There could be a third party here that's going to be revealed and unpredictable. Never know what they'll do. Unreliable, a total live wire. And it's very complicated I'm telling you it's this person right here that you're walking away from. All righty. Who's that, Rebecca? Hello. And then up next we have Aquarius. What's going on for the Aquarius? Aquarius, you got the Two of Cups, the Hierophant, the Four of Swords, you also have a tower and the five of cups. Two of cups, date night, get together. Manifest, manifest, manifest what you want and desire. Going to come into you fairly quickly. Now let me say this. There could be an argument. You exploding or something. It's got to do with someone's pets and they're not yours. Five of cups. You're overthinking things. Get out your head because you're right now in what I call the calm before the storm. Aquarius, let's see. Where is your shadow work? What's the shadow work you need to do? Aquarius, tangle web. Got yourself in a sticky situation you're having a hard time freeing yourself from. Hard to see clearly when you're in it. You're dealing with someone younger or immature. You might be living with this person. It's time to start over. Ending it and moving on. Trying again. For some of you, you got to excess returning. You're very closed off, not emotionally available, distracted, hurt from the past situation. This person may view you as just another, just another one, just another conquest. I'm predictable, never know what they're thinking, unreliable and a live wire. And the person you're dealing with, well, they're a negativity. That is working on your self-esteem. That's what I got going on for you. Y'all stick around. We'll do a collective too. Last but not least, we got Pisces. Pisces, what's coming up for you? What do the cards see for Pisces? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, The Empress, The Sun, and the Death Card Energy. You're wanting to plan ahead, but you're moving too quickly doing some future financial planning, but it's telling you you're moving too quickly because you've got options that have not even be pre been presented to you yet. You need to slow down. Slow down and breathe. Someone views you as the Empress, the Mother card. Positive changes on the home front. And you've got the sun shining brightly in all that you do with the Death card energy. There's been endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. This is one of the most powerful new beginnings that you're going to get. Now, with that said, Pisces, let's look. What's the shadow work? What is the shadow work? Shadow work for Pisces.
Shadow work for Pisces. Okay, there's something here you need to face it. it says the truth shall, sh shall set you free. You need to face it. You're keeping things bottled up as well. Toxic, destructive relationship, manipulation, and gaslighting. Warned of the toxic relationship. Someone you're with got some roving eyes, keeping possibilities open, an obvious flirt, and sometimes it can be a little disrespectful. Okay, there may be a sudden ending, short but sweet. I don't think it's the end of things, but it could be, well lead to that. Someone's all talk. Silver tongue devil. Big flirt. No action. And a player type energy. Adrift. Not willing to settle down. But at the same time, they can be controlling. Tangled web. Okay, this tells me that you are getting a lot of push-pull effect from the one that you're with. And that's the shadow work that you're going to need to work out because you're going to have to confront that person. All right, what y'all say? Let's do a quick collective. Now I'll throw down some of my messages after it from Spirit. Let's see. Let's stick with this as a collective. What we all need to know. What do we all need to know? Thank you guys for joining me. We got a lot of new faces over here today. Thank you for your gifts. Much appreciated. Uh, psychic readings at JackieTomlin.com. You will want to check the podcast over there. Went up yesterday, giving y'all a little bit of a challenge. Join me on it. You'll be a new person by this time of next month. That also has a rundown of your uh, Aries to Pisces for more than a week. All right, for all of us, we got the Knight of Swords. The hangman, the hair font, strength, and the high priestess. Okay, so a lot going on here. What's rushing in? The hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, you're sitting back going, what next? What is next? The hair font says, manifest, manifest, manifest. Put your intent into it. You're going to get a quick turnaround on what you're manifesting. Strength on your side, no matter what you do. There it is. You're grounded. You're centered. You need to trust your intuition. Trust where you're being led. All right. So let's see. What is our shadow work? Thank you, Nanya. What is our shadow work? Our shadow work. What is that we need to know? Ooh, someone is going to accuse you of being a gold digger. False hope. Tries to sell you a pipe dream. No, subst no substance and evasive. You're in a vicious circle, pattern of a relationship, issue, bad habits, no win situation. Someone is looping you around on this vicious circle, okay? Tangle web. Unable to free yourself from a sticky situation. The dark side. Your dark side keeps you from enjoying the love you have and deserve. Don't let it steal your joy. Don't sell yourself short when it comes to love. Alone. Some of you are doing it because you're feeling alone. Dream world. Living in a fantasy land. Illusions. Not real love. Or someone's conquest you need to know that it cuts both ways closed off you're not emotionally available you're distracted because you're hurt from the past hotty toddy champagne taste beer budget arrogant okay you guys need to 
step up your self-worth and your deservingness and stop settling. There are worse things in life than being alone. Okay? Now, let me see if I can give you some messages from Spirit. Let's just say for the next 24, 48 hours. How's that? Next 48 hours. What you need to know. And tomorrow we'll be over here with the regular weekend read. Guys, book those appointments. Keep me busy. Okay. You're under an era of a new beginning. And Aries may resonate with you. Be warned of enemies and or stalkers. People that are watching you. Watching you a little too closely. Uh, you need to take the time to laugh and say yes. Recognize and embrace that you deserve more. If you are separated from someone or something, you need to know that it's temporary. But do not accept dishonesty and cheating. Oh, blame game. Because they're going to turn around. They're going to blame you. Someone is taking advantage of you. You've got more than one blessing coming in. There's a Taurus energy here. Someone's waiting for you to apologize. And they're, you're making excuses for someone else or for yourself. Now we're pushing it out. you got a message here for the next 7 to 10 days. Okay. We've time hopped here. That was your next 48. Now we're going to the next 7 to 10 days. What's coming up next 7 to 10 days is move out of your comfort zone. Recognize that you're dealing with a fake person. Pay attention to your dreams. There's an Aquarius energy here. Making travel plans next 7 to 10 days. You are overflowing with high energy and with love. Scorpio energy. You're going to get what you want, but it's going to be different than your expectations. Let go of your negative thoughts. Now, we're going to time hop one more time. The next 72 hours. There's a need to tell someone no. Be warned of deception and lies. Pushing it out to two weeks, 10 to 14 days. Intensity and love. New love or leveling up. Time to express your feelings, both good and bad. There is an ending. And expect unexpected company. Capricorn energy. Someone that you already know coming in as an unexpected offer. And there's going to be a new beginning in the winter. All right, that was a mouthful. We went from 48 to two weeks to, to 7 to 10 days to 72 hours. We, we got a lot of information there. So y'all process it as it resonates with you. I thank you guys for joining me today. And I will see you again tomorrow with your weekend read. Don't forget, hit me up on my website for a personal reading. You may contact me there. As well as don't forget to check out that podcast. You guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.